All right, everyone. So we're back. It has been a while. I apologize. I got sick for about two weeks, and then we had Easter, and my son's basketball is now finally over. So hopefully these videos will get a little bit more consistent. I have been set up to do this mod review for quite some time now. This was actually in line to come up before I got sick. Um, I had everything all set up, so I'm really excited about this one. Big shout out to Gunner Does Games on this one. If anybody is not in his Discord, which I feel bad about, he does have a Discord. I was not aware. He's in my Discord. I will be joining his Discord immediately after this video. But big shout out to Gunner Does Games. He did a really great job on this mod. It is GDG Tools. Um, and it has everything that you could possibly ever want as far as quality of life goes. So, I do want to stress the fact that this one mod kind of eliminates your need for all of the other mods that we all are using. And we have, I don't know, 20, I don't know how many mods people have. But there's mods for everything out there right now. This mod literally has everything that you could possibly desire. So, you've got your silent uh, fabricators and machines and stuff like that which is definitely something that is great i don't like all the noise personally um one for one metal uh so you put it in the forge you get one metal ingot for one raw metal i mean that's great so instead of the vanilla option where you get two metals two raw metals give you one ingot this is just a one for one deal so nobody's getting ripped off i think that's great uh, as well as potions, tranks, um, reusable armor, uh, reusable spears and tranks, I mean everything. So you don't have to have your potions mods downloaded anymore, you don't need to have the need for the reusable mods anymore, um, the OP tranks and all that cool stuff, you don't need that anymore. I'm going to get right to it because I've been talking a lot and all you guys are doing is staring at this Beach Bob's Ascended machine which we will go look at that's a tribute that gdg did so very cool i think he did a great job on all the skins but without further ado let's go ahead and hop into it now i'm out of breath here is the workbench so a lot of uh, some of the things are going to be made directly on your person i apologize because i'm in uh, crap, uh, God mode, so I'm going to have all this nonsense in here that shouldn't be in here. Hold on, going to cut the camera, bring everybody right back, because I'm going to turn that off so you guys can actually get a true look at what's crafted in your inventory. Be right back. And we're back. Sorry about that, everybody. I knew that if I would have just taken the creative mode off, I'd still have all that nonsense, and I did want you guys to actually get an idea of what's actually crafted uh, on your person. Um, and some really good early game things that I think are important. I know Gunner does games uh, on our uh, Ark Descended server suggested to kind of get these two things in place early on. So we'll go ahead and take a look at what those are really quick. Um, I have to find it in here. You can see all of the different items uh, within here, the wooden crates. We will go over what those, I mean, you can use them for whatever you want, um, but kind of how those are incorporated into the mod itself, what they're really used for. Um, you can make your potions table, the workbench. The workbench is going to craft 90% of the GDG stuff that you see crafted probably over there in the background that we will take a look at. Um, here is a handy tool, which is the... Uh, which is the, uh, sorry, the bed. Um, I did want to point out the bed because that is a good early game um, item. And I will show you why. One, it does not require hide. So no more hunting for hide early game. Two, it does not need to be put on a foundation. So you can put it on a foundation. I have one laid out over here so you can all see. It does work to fast travel and all of that stuff. And then we will... Show, I can also just place it on the ground. What a great and easy spawn point early game. Um, and you can craft as many as you want. Also, um, instead of, uh, I forget what vanilla is, but what is it? Like a minute and a half uh, to reuse your bed. This is 30 second cooldown. Um, so that's great. Die as much as you want. Uh, you just got to wait 30 seconds to kind of get back there. So that is item number one that I think is really important. 
There is this Chinese food box that I'm looking for right now, which is, in my opinion, a must-have, and I don't know why I'm not seeing it. Maybe I don't have it learned. No, I do. It's a, the GDG starter kit, so let's pull that up. There it is. So this is going to take 500 uh, fiber and 25 metal. I can do that right here, and I'll show you guys what you get. So this is a starter pack. Get that fiber early in your gameplay um, so you can actually craft this. And I'll show you what that actually did for me. I had some crafted, but one, you're going to get a hatchet. This is going to be way better for uh, harvesting your trees and stones and skins from bodies and whatnot. You get a primitive pickaxe. Also going to be better than the stone one that you're going to be using early on to collect your... Uh, metal and your flint and whatnot. A sickle to go ahead and get some more fiber and make up all the fiber that you just had to use. This is a reusable spear, so you can throw it. It is, um, and it will be reusable, but you can also just poke as well. Uh, also, there is a reusable grapple, so you do not have to make grapples for this. It can fire underwater. But this actually helped us out early game uh, where we don't have a flyer to get up to those high places and get some early game crystal. What a great starter kit, my opinion. Genius. Um, so definitely a must have if you do have this on your server. If you don't, I highly suggest you do have this mod on your server for anybody who does like those uh, quality of life mods. Uh, me personally, I tend to put these on some of those dino overhaul um, servers that we do have because I do find, you know, dino overhauls are hard and a little... A little help never hurt anybody. Um, the other thing is the reusable um, armor, which is not there. Where is it? Uh, it's got no durability. There you go. No durability armor set. So that's going to be another 500 fiber um, and 25 metal. I'm currently wearing it. This is going to craft you the entire outfit. It's also... 100% dieable. I dyed mine, obviously. Um, so that that is obviously an option. They have all the no durability. Actually, that's not what is crafted in, on me right now. I apologize. Back it up, Juan Heda. Very sorry, everyone. They do have the option, I think, unless this has changed, because it looks different. So we'll give it a go here. I'll actually craft that. And we'll take a look. But they do have the ability to craft no durability armor for all tiers so that's the metal the fur i saw all that in there which was genius oh this is the desert goggles no durability can i search no durability i apologize no is that it but that's going to be handy over there on scorched earth yes this could be used over on scorched earth as well. I do think that the cloth armor set, maybe maybe he changed it. I don't know. Because it did look a little different. It was like black and red. I don't know what happened to that. Hopefully um, Gunner will tell us in the comments of this video because it's throwing me off. I might have complained it wasn't pink, but I still liked it. Um, nonetheless, I was able to dye this the way I wanted to. It's no durability. As you can see, there is also the no durability desert stuff, um, as well as some of the other ones, which we will get into. Let's take a look into the bench here and see all the different items that we can craft. <coughs> Excuse me. I apologize. Um, I have, I should have most of this crafted for everybody so we could take a look. I noticed when I got in here today, and maybe I'm wrong, but some things seem to have been added that weren't here previously. Um, so you have the saddle collector. So you can throw saddles on the ground. This is going to pick up all your saddles. You have the structure collector. So you can throw down all your walls or building pieces. Um, I'm, pff, any forges or already crafted items that you might have, I'm assuming, could be thrown on the ground. And this is going to pick it up as well. You've got one for the armor. Um, so... Uh, there you go. It, it literally gets rid of the option or the requirement or mod requirement um, of having some of those collector mods. Uh, me, personally, I like anything that's going to eliminate the need for a whole bunch of other things. Um, it does have concrete parts. They were kind of neat. They're just like, uh, just, just, just like that. That's what they are. But definitely an aesthetic, an aesthetic uh, way of 
building and an item to have around. Um, there is a solar panel and generator, so you use the power of solar and the generator combined, and it will use biofuel. Biofuel is also part of this mod and is made over in the chemistry bench, which we will look at in a little bit. Um, and it is a big part of how you fuel uh, different things within this within this mod as well. So um, that's that. The solar panels, they are going to have to be repaired, so they aren't in the uh, non-durable. So you have to keep that in mind if you do choose to have the solar use the solar panel options. I do have one crafted so you guys can take a look at what that looks like. Um, sorter unit. This sorter unit goes along with the collectors. This is the ground collector. And there should be a farm collector. Mm, farm collector in here somewhere. Sorter unit. Well, I have it made over there. We will take a look at it nonetheless. <laughs> some reason I don't see it the all crafter is the ability if you do not have the Ingram learned to be able to still craft within it uh, an, in an unlearned Ingram um, like the tech stuff so you have to beat a boss to make the tech stuff well this would give you the ability to be able to craft said tech stuff there is also the metal metal volts this is, it looks like regular size, medium or small, doesn't say, but then there is a large one. The beer station, so six hours for a brew, now nah, we do it in 42 minutes. Uh, much faster as far as brewing beer goes, so nobody hates the beer barrel as much as I do. I love a mod that does give me a beer dispenser. Um, personally, I, uh, coming from PC, I've always had the RR home decker mod on my uh, servers that has a beer dispenser so this is going to work the exact same way so that is wonderful gotta love that uh, you have the ammo crate so you just basically will be able to craft ammo in bulk within that you've got the tools and weapons collector so weapons and tools that you throw on the ground will be picked up by this You've got a jerky grill, so it burns jerky powder to dehydrate meat for yummy jerky, 80% faster than the vanilla. So that is another thing that I hate about Vanilla Arc is the length of time it takes to make a piece of jerky in the preserving bin. Um, feel like it's unnecessary, but we won't we won't get into that right now. Um, you've got your uh, your GDG fridge, which is pretty cool. You can change the look of these. I will show you guys. Um, again, I have these things built, but I did want to kind of show you guys and give you guys a look of kind of on the screen what they take. Um, the requirements to craft these things is not not expensive in my opinion um, and some of the things that are relatively easy to get to kind of get things started uh, early game it's obviously going to take away the uh, grind of a little bit within arc so you can get to doing more of the things that you love as far as arc goes um, so this is the farming table so this is going to act like a water source um, basically and you can have your crops close to it and they will be irrigated Simple as that. This is a glitchy chance box. I won't get into this. I will just show it to you. Um, it's kind of cool, kind of fun. I enjoy a surprise. Uh, here is your solar panel. Um, so I do have that crafted over there, like I said. So it has half the, oh, I didn't say, but this is going to lose health over time. That is what I said. Um, it is half the range as a gas generator, so keep that in mind. Um, but it is kind of a backup way to keep your base generated or you could have you know things that are important maybe your fridge and whatnot close to it so you don't have to worry about the range but have it as kind of a backup for you know if you don't log on in time to make more gas and your gas runs out you don't want all your stuff going bad um you've got the gdg fabricator you've got the gdg grill you have these automated trank turrets. So I thought this was fantastic. So anybody who might already have a mod um, that does something like this, there you go. Another mod off your list if you just download this one, plus you get all the other really great stuff. Um, nonetheless, this is a trank turret. Uh, it's going to obviously shoot trank uh, bullets, which are made... Over in the, one of these benches over here, I will show you uh, where it's made specifically, and you will make the bullets for that, as well as this one, which is the OP Auto Turret. Um, of course, they do require electricity to run like any turret. This one is going to be five times the fi firepower, and it's going to conserve 
consume four bullets while firing. There you go. Um, this is the air conditioner. So this is going to have two times the cooling range and provides insulation from both heat and um, cold. So, hey, all you people over there on scorched earth, these would be beneficial for you to have in your base. Just a suggestion. Um, good use to that. Also good use when it comes to um, hatching eggs and whatnot. So you don't have to worry about it being too hot or too cold. This is just going to be just right. Um, the grinder is similar, or it is similar, this is, this is the same, but it's this is much faster as the vanilla grinder. It's going to do all the same things and be able to grind things down uh, to get some of the resources back, as well as convert other resources to some of the resources you may find on other maps, like Aberration and Scorched Earth and whatnot. Um, the cauldron, it's going to burn gas, and it cooks large quantity of foods quickly, so you can make all your uh, kibble, soup, stews, dyes, and all of that stuff. It can also refill containers, irrigate crop plots, and provide a refreshing drink. So there you go. I do have that made. We will take a look at it. I didn't know it did all that, so we will definitely look at it. Um, the wireless generator here, this is going to use uh, biofuel, oil, element, element shards, and even wood. Yeah, wood. I know. How great is that? So you can just put some wood in there and have your base completely electric. Look at that. Um, so that is the workbench. That's like, like I said, that is where you're going to craft the majority of your things that you or that go with this mod. Um, this is the potions table. So I did mention it did uh, have potions. This is Gunner's Kibble. When consumed, this is going to refill your food and water to a maximum. Uh, and you, and if it's used from your hotbar, it's going to do your dino as well. So that is actually fantastic. I know it was the FMK uh, station that I used back on um, ASE there on PC. That had that option with the healing potions. This one do, does as well, so we'll look at those. If you have it in your hot slot, your last one, your zero slot, or whatever slot bar that is for you console people, um, that is uh, going to do for you and your dino at the same time if you are riding your dino. I cannot stress how much I love that. Um, so this is a shot of creativity. It is not craft beard. It's a shot. So it's to boost your creativity and craft and give you a 30-second boost. So um, you won't need to actually mind wipe and put it all into your crafting skill. You can just take a swig of this, craft what you need to craft, and do it all over again. Doesn't seem like this one has an actual cooldown, so you can drink as much of that as you want. But be careful. It's a shot. Um, breeding potion. So this is, uh, when consumed, it's going to reset the mating timer. So that will come in handy. Come breed time for bosses or, you know, even on dino overhauls when you just want to have a mass amount of backup dinos. Uh, you'll feed this to your dino and it will be able to breed again. This does have... A one hour cooldown. And if it's a creature that does not breed, this will make it be able to breed. Uh, elemental burrito. Eat this crazy burrito to make your body resistant to hot and cold temperatures. This actually would come in handy for the tech cave. I don't know about anybody else. Well, maybe it's just me because I might have lacked in putting stuff into my fortitude like a dummy and paid the price later on at the end of the gameplay and then going over to Scorched and Aberration and all the other maps, I really suffered. <laughs> uh, this would come in handy for me or anybody else who plays like me and didn't bother putting anything into their fortitude or very little into their fortitude. Um, this is going to give a sandstorm protection. So again, anybody over there on Scorched Earth, I think this is the mod for you. Um, it has pretty much everything that you need to survive in the desert. Um, sandstorm protection. I hear the sandstorm is pretty bad over there. Um, radiation protection. So over there when you land yourself over in aberration. Um, there is definitely some radiation zones that you cannot go into. This is going to help you be resistant to that, so that's going to be great. A uh, good prep for the next map in the storyline goes comes. Um, bee sting protection, so this is going to make you resistant to bee sting, so this is going to come in handy when you go on your um, bee taming expedition. Wake up juice. This is going to remove all your torpor or all torpor and wakes everything up. So this is good if you have a dino knocked out that ends up getting hit by something because 
that's the worst thing in the world. And then you got to decide if you want to sit around for another hour and wait for the stupid thing to wake up so you can knock it out just to get your 100% effectiveness for taming. Yeah. So wake up juice. That That's the answer, people. That is the answer. Um, healing pill. So it gives 50% health. It can be used on creatures as well. This one will not work from the dino hot bar. This one's going to do 25%. It's also not going to work from the dino hot bar, but can feed to yourself or your dino. No fall soup. It lasts 30 seconds by default. Eat some dodo soup and jump off a cliff. Well, there you go. Uh, I, don't, I don't suggest jumping off a cliff. Nobody jump off a cliff. But if you have so happen to fall off a cliff, which would definitely be true one hate of fashion, um, this could definitely come in handy. Uh, slumber potion. If used on a sleeping donut, it will refill the torpidity to a max. So obvious for obvious reasons, this is going to be great for taming. Six time XP el elixir. This is going to give you six times the experience for 600 seconds when consumed. Works on both humans and creatures. Only one XP elixir can be active at the same time. So this is going to be handy to feed you and your dino before you go into the caves, before you go into a boss fight. Before you go for alpha dino killing, whatever. Uh, this one's a four times XP elixir, same idea. Um, so here is the one, cure all pill. When consumed, this will remove all torpor and refill your health and stamina to a maximum. And this one works on the dino from the hot bar. Bam. I knew there was one there. Um, so that's great. I mean, that's just... I've, Sold right there. Sold for me. Um, grow up milk. It's going to make any baby instantly grow up. However, this is with no imprints. There is blue milk. And this is going to make your baby grow up instantly and give it the full imprint. So there's two there. Watch which one you're using if you want it to have full imprint. There is a gender potion. It's going to change the gender of your uh, dino. Famine injector. You can uh, give this to a knocked out dino and then feed it its kibble. And it's going to eat it all right away. And you don't have to sit around waiting forever for your dino to tame. I think that's fantastic. I also think the skin on this one is hilarious. Great work. Gunner, I must say, you have done a fantastic job. We're not even a quarter of the way through, so I do apologize to everybody who is watching. I try to make these fast. I'm probably talking really fast, um, but I don't want to skimp out on any of the great stuff that's in here because I think it's worth showing. This is the Mind Wipe, um, so it will reset all manually added levels on your creature and will also work on humans as well. So this would be good for me on my ASE playthrough where I lacked in fortitude. There you go. That's what I would use it for. <coughs> I apologize. Okay. On to the next. This is just a table. I just laid it out. It is a table. You can craft. It serves no purpose but being a table, so you could put stuff on it if you wanted to. Uh, this is the farming table that we saw there. Like I said, this is going to automatically irrigate your crops. There is a beaver box. So this is a beaver will make thatch out of wood and send it to the compost. I could have sworn I had that made. If I don't, that's upsetting because I think that's pretty cool. But that's going to literally make the thatch out of wood and then send it to your compost to keep your compost bin going and your fertilizer creating. Um, here is the compost bin. It's a large bin for converting thatch and dung into high-quality fertilizer. And a sneaky little beehive. So where I said that stuff could help you from the bee tame that you will have to do, you will not have to do it because you can create this and this is going to be probably a uh, passive, uh, won't sting you type of deal. It's going to make honey over time. So there you go. Looks like all the seeds are craftable in here. Here is the farm collector that I was talking about. I knew I was not crazy that I have made. I will explain to you guys how these work probably in a second um, and we will go over those here is a fertilizer silo it's going to pull fertilizer from the compost bin and send it to any vanilla based crop plots within 40 meters or just hair within 30 13 foundations you've got a poop maker so use stem berries to make poop so this is automatically going to craft all the poop that you require that you ever need and that's it for the farm farm uh, bench. That was that was a quick quick overview here. Um, here is the smithy and the mortar. I believe this is the one where you can make those bullets that I spoke about. So here you go. You've got the low trank. You've got the mid trank. You've got that's th those are for your gun. 
So, like I said, this this does have better tranks and stuff. Those ones are for your guns. These ones are the ones for... I don't know if that's the one. Nope, that's scales with the percent of a rifle. Where's the ones? No, I think those are it. Am I wrong? I'm probably an idiot. Hunger trank darts. You can make them hungry from far away. Yeah. We'll take a look. We'll figure it out. Here's the preserving bin. Uh, I did say that these do change uh, their skin. So you can see all the different options that you can choose from depending on what you like. So I could change it to red metal if I wanted to. Personally, I liked the RGB look. Like my computer. Now, okay, here's what we'll do. I'm going to show you guys. Here is all the sorters and collectors. Not all of them, but most of them. Oh, I did create the beaver thing, didn't I? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I thought I did. Nonetheless, here they are. Um, so this is the, uh, I'll tell you this, the know everything, the uh, crafter, all crafter that I, we looked at there. Um, so this will give you the capabilities. Um, as you know, I am not in creative mode uh, right now. Um, but this will basically give you um, the ability to craft stuff within it. Um, see, I'm at know nothing, know all, and we'll be able to craft different things and whatnot. Craft all unlockable Ingrams, vanilla, or modded. All right, so this one is the sorter. This one is the ground collector, so I can just throw stuff on the ground and it's going to pick it up. It's right now picking up a bunch of feces. Um, and then this one is the farm collector, so the farm collector is literally pulling thatch seeds and um, fruits and veggies from my growing crops over there. Um, importance of the sorter unit here. Um, so you can see select mode here. You'll change this to send to storages or pull from collectors. So those collectors are collecting everything. You will pull from the collectors. So there you go. We have pulled everything that would have been thrown on the ground and collected um, as needed. And then we can change this to send to storages. Now, before I do that, I will explain these boxes to you really quick. Um, so these boxes that you can craft uh, in your inventory, do I have some on me? Yes, I do. Um, so you guys can see here. I will lay one here. So if you go into it, it's kind of like a dedicated storage um, idea. So I put that in there. I set the resource. So this is my stone one at the moment. Um, this one here, I have thatch or fiber. Oh, I already had a stone one. Apologies. My top one here is cementing paste. So basically anything within this sorter that has a box that I have dedicated to that item, I can get it to send to my storages like that. I don't have a fiber box or any of these other ones, but basically that is what has happened. All of the cementing paste you saw in there was put there. We've got the stone put away. It might end up in this one. I don't know. But that's how, in a nutshell, that one works. Here is the tool um, picker-upper thing. I'll just put start collecting. So remember, once you lay these down, you do have to start collecting. I will show this while we are standing here. This is the egg station. So this is going to incubate your eggs. It also picks them up. So while your dinos are here um, breeding and spitting out egg, fertilized eggs, this is going to pick it up. Keep in mind, if they are underwater dinos, this needs to be in the water for it to work. So anybody, I know that's been questions regarding some of the other little egg stations and stuff I have reviewed before. So yes, uh, there is a note there. Um, absolutely, if it's a water tame, it has to be in the water. I did breed some griffins so that I had an egg in there. You can see what it did. It picked it up. It incubated it to zero. And then I guess we can hatch egg. And look at that. I think that's really cool. I won't lie. I'm, I'm amazed. Great job, Gunner. Shout out to you. Okay. All right. I have no soul balls on me, so you stay there. Very cool. So there you go. So that's uh, fantastic. And then you just hatch it and out comes your baby and 
you can do what you got to do to raise him up. Now, next on the list here is the Scrap Forge. So this is the one where you will put your metal in it. Um, and do I have metal? Let's pull some metal. Can I pull metal? And can I pull some wood? I don't know if this is the one that it's going to go one for one for metal. It's not acting like it. No, it's saying two of two. Maybe it's not this one. There you go. It is going to craft it, obviously, faster. But that's obviously not the right one. Um, you have here the tech replicator. So I think the look of it is fantastic. Um, and within that uh, is where you can build all of your tech stuff. I don't have anything learned, so it's pretty empty right now. Now, here is the glitchy chance box that you were all wondering about, I'm sure. Um, so you can build or make, craft some, some of the skins from the events uh, that have taken place. You've got your Hawaiian shirts, your sweaters from the winter event, uh, some DLC uh, skins, dino, uh, dino stuff. There is a costume here um, and random apex drops and high tier blueprints. Now, this is done randomly. And you can make your chibis, sorry. Um, so just because I craft this doesn't mean I'm always going to get an item. Uh, so it is a chance. There you go. I got a pumpkin pie hat skin on that one. That's cute. Um, but you saw the first time around I didn't get anything. So it's not a guaranteed on every one, but you will get one eventually. So here's an apex drop. We'll take a look and see if we get anything for that. Probably not first time. Nope. I only have so many tickets, so I didn't get anything on that one either. Try high-tech blueprint. No. No dice. No tickets left. Um, but yeah, so there you go. So you can get a blueprint item, which unfortunately I didn't get on this one, but I think think no I don't think I got one that I tried at all but you can see the different costume skins I did randomly get uh, as well um, we could you can make your chibis if you want a chibi who doesn't love a chibi there you go. It is random you don't get to pick what it is but we just got ourselves a parasaur one uh, but that's kind of how that works it's literally how that works and you saw how you make the uh, ticket boxes there uh, and the ingredients that it takes for that this is the fabricator it is silent and this is where you go to craft all of your fabricated stuff see silent and does require the power here is the uh, solar panel uh, that we talked about. So this, over time, you can see its health is has been going down. It is single player, so I've been logged out. So, so I mean, it's only going to down while I'm in here. Um, but this is definitely great for a backup. Here is the grill. I think the grill has a great uh, look to it as well. Uh, don't really need to talk about the grill in, in details. Here is the chem station that I told you you would be able to make the biofuel. And biofuel is just going to be made with berries. Any berries that you have, a hundred of them will give you a thing of biofuel. Here is the wireless generator I also discussed. This will also power on, there's some biofuel or wood should you choose. Uh, you can go into the radial menu of any of these like pickup items and whatnot. I didn't actually put it on there, but you can see the range little dome that I'm in so you can get an idea of how that works um, here is the uh, trank turret which I think is a very nice look to it as well I don't have anything in there put low tranquilizer sniper rounds in this one so that's what goes in there those bullets were the ones in there uses four bullets per shot it will continue to fire after the target is knocked out and has a delayed fire for less round usage so, um, I guess you'd have to kind of be mindful of that, because it's going to keep on shooting it. Um, and then this is the advanced rifle bullets, four bullets per shot, does five times the damage with two times the health. And it's usable on rafts and dinos, so there you go. 
Now, here is the grinder I mentioned. Um, so you can make seeds in here if you needed to make some plant species X or some plant species Y seeds. You can make those in here uh, as well as being able to put stuff in it, grind, grind it down to get the resources back. And I can also make crystal, all the aberration items. Um, we can make fiber using thatch and thatch using wood, which is great. We could probably, yep, stone. We make flint using stone. Um, so those are all options uh, available. Here is the cauldron. Or the it's the industrial cooker, but that's the cauldron. We were calling it a cauldron. Uh, you put food and recipes in this, um, and this will fuel or power on biofuel as well. Uh, and power, of course. So the generator does does turn this on as well. Um, I do believe that was it, I think. I don't want to miss anything. I don't think I missed anything. That is the gist of everything. Yes, do a quick little look around. Yeah, that's, that's it. So, um... Yeah, I, I, let me know what you guys thought about this mod. Like I said, this mod has your potions tables. Um, I don't know what's going on with the one-for-one one metal. Um, that's supposed to be a thing. Um, I'm sure Gunner, I hope Gunner, will be in the comments of this video um, to provide and fix and correct any of the things that I may have told you incorrectly or any of the things that I may have butchered. It is my first first video back after a long month break um i'm really glad to be back um again another big shout out to gunner does games you've done an awesome job um he's a really great great developer really easy to talk to uh definitely join his discord because i'm going to do it not not because i'm going to do it but i'm definitely going to do it um and if you have any questions or whatnot about the mod feel free to leave comments on the video as well for questions i love the questions if you have any suggestions on any of the mods that you want to see me do Definitely let me know in the comments. Um, and, of course, join the Discord. I will leave that in the description of the video. Um, and Gunner's Discord is definitely available on the CurseForge made, mod page. So definitely check him out. Um, he's done a fantastic job. I really, I really, I have no words, honestly. What a fantastic mod. Uh, it is cross-console. It should be working on Scorched Earth. It's got some really great things there that you can use on Scorched Earth. So I do appreciate everyone who has watched um, and who has been supporting, subscribing, uh, liking the video again if you have any tips that you'd like to see something or things you want to see me do different I definitely would appreciate the feedback and I will see you all in the next one